Today I am showing you exactly how to remove limiting beliefs so that you can manifest every single time without fail. My name is Kath Kyle and I help conscious creators and change makers manifest success through my coaching courses and club. Did you know that a manifestation is actually guaranteed? You might not believe this, but you are manifesting 24 seven all the time. It's just that you are not consciously manifesting. You are always manifesting based on your existing belief systems. So when you first try manifestation for the first time and you consciously decide on something that you want to manifest, a lot of the time it doesn't manifest. And that's not because manifestation doesn't work and it's not because you aren't good at manifesting. It's simply because you have an overriding belief system which is dictating your life and is much stronger than the new belief system that you haven't yet adopted. So the only thing that stops your new conscious manifestation from manifesting is the old existing belief system that is your limiting beliefs. They are limiting your ability to manifest your new reality. And I call this disbelief because you don't have enough belief in your new manifestation yet. So today I'm showing you exactly how to remove this disbelief. And I have a process. I have a four stage process called my stamp it out process to reject disbelief. And this is what I am going to walk you through now. So disbelief, First of all, what we have to do, the first stage is we have to identify what the disbelief is. Now, this is a thought, a negative thought that you can't have what you want. So say, for example, what you are trying to manifest is you want to be a successful YouTuber. You want a successful YouTube channel and you want lots of people to watch your videos but you keep on getting these annoying thoughts popping into your mind, saying things like, well, no one wants to watch my videos. There's the proof, zero views, one view, three views. It doesn't matter how many views it's got, you'll still have the thought, nobody wants to watch my videos because it doesn't line up with your version of success, which might be 20,000 views per video. And if you keep on having you know, 20,000 views per video as your standard and 20 people are watching it, you're still going to keep saying, nobody wants to watch my videos. Even these 20 people, my brain hasn't seen those 20 people. I still say nobody. And that word nobody is a very, very powerful word. The words always and nobody govern your entire life. So these are what I call overriding beliefs. Oh, uh, nobody and always sit on the very top of the hierarchy of beliefs. Hierarchy of beliefs is like a triangle and whatever you say always or never about always overrides what you're trying to manifest underneath. You're trying to manifest YouTube and you're saying nobody is watching my videos that is your belief system and you are going to get more of the nobody or very limited people. It's what your brain thinks of when it thinks nobody, it thinks a few or none. It's what you're, you've defined as nobody. So we've identified the existing belief system. The disbelief is that nobody wants to watch the videos, even though some people are watching them you've got disbelief that nobody is watching them. So now we move on to stage number two. We're going to analyze this disbelief. This is really important because sometimes if you just try and push that disbelief away without thinking about why it's there in the first place, then you are not fully engaging in the process of removing the disbelief and you might not actually get rid of the disbelief. So we're going to look at this disbelief and think, is there actually a good reason why we're thinking these thoughts? Sometimes there are actually advantages of thinking the negative thoughts. And you might be thinking, well, 
why would there be why would there be advantages of thinking that thought obviously i want to be successful why would anyone want to be unsuccessful and not have a successful youtube channel so let's have a look at this a bit more deeply could there be any advantage to your youtube channel not taking off to nobody watching your youtube videos well i can think of lots of reasons because most of the population is actually terrified of public speaking. They're terrified of being criticized. They're terrified of being seen. They're terrified of people judging them. And all of those things are going to happen when you start a YouTube channel. You are going to have to public speak. You are going to have to put yourself out there. People are going to watch you. People are going to find you. People are going to judge you whether you like it or not. And these can be very, very terrifying thoughts. So we've actually identified a lot of advantages of not having a successful YouTube channel. So there are actually things that we need to work through and find out, do we still want it, even though it has all of the advantages of not having success? Now let's look at some of the disadvantages of nobody watching my YouTube videos. Now there's probably lots and these are a lot more obvious things like I don't feel successful, my business doesn't grow, I don't end up making any money as a result, I don't end up helping anybody, I feel like a failure, etc, etc. So we know a lot of the disadvantages, they are quite obvious. And what we've got to do is we've got to weigh up the pros and cons and decide which version do we actually want. Do we want the version of ourselves where we are successful and people are judging us and watching us and finding us, or do we want the version of ourselves where we are unsuccessful? Nobody's watching us, nobody's judging us, nobody's leaving comments about us. Which version are we going to step into? Which version of reality are we going to have? Which person are we going to become? That's very important. You might not actually be ready right now for the thing that you are trying to manifest, and that's okay. We all get ready at different times just because you might not be ready right now doesn't mean to say you can't prepare for it in different ways so it's very good to journal this process out and the third stage we are moving on to is we are going to look at this limiting belief this disbelief and ask is it actually true the thing that we are thinking and we've already identified that if you are getting some views then some people are wanting to press play on your video. So already we can see that this is false. It's untrue. It's disbelief. It's lies, basically. We're telling ourselves lies in our own head. Also, how do we know that just because somebody hasn't found our videos yet, that they don't want to watch us? There could be millions of people out there that want to watch our videos, but they simply haven't found us yet. And they probably haven't found us yet because we're not putting out the right energy. We're not manifesting what we actually want. So this is not true. We can't even, we don't even know what's going on in other people's heads. We will never know that. They could tell us, they might be lying. We will never know what other people want. Their behavior will probably demonstrate what they want, but at the moment, they're just not finding you, so you just don't know. So, no, it's not true. It's not true that nobody, not a single person on the whole planet, wants, doesn't want to watch your videos because you haven't even asked everybody. So, no, it's not true. It's not true at all. And we think a lot of this, these thoughts which are completely false, and it's not until we analyze them that we realize how untrue they actually are and how they are holding us back with these lies. So the fourth stage is we are going to reject the disbelief if you are ready to reject the disbelief. If you've decided, I want the advantages of having my manifestation and none of the disadvantages, then I want my manifestation to come true, then you are ready to reject your manifestation. In the Business Manifestation Club, we go through a big process of different ways of rejecting manifestations, but I will just tell you a very simple one that you can apply every single time you think one of these limiting belief thoughts pops into your brain. You can simply say, 
no or cancel or reject 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 the brain says well there's the evidence nobody's watching your videos nobody wants to watch your videos reject reject i reject that i reject that reject that false belief reject that thought not my thought not my chosen thought what do i want to think instead so now we move on to number five which is replace we are going to replace this thought with what we actually want to think we are going to replace the thought with a brain stamp this is a type of affirmation that sounds natural so it actually forms a neural pathway on your brain because you leave it we're not just going to recite affirmations that we don't believe we are going to say brain stamps that we do believe these these are our new beliefs so what could be the opposite of the limiting belief that nobody wants to watch my video you could say everybody wants to watch my videos everybody you might think well that's not true either obviously not every single person in the entire world wants to watch my videos that's not blatantly not true but it's what it does to the subconscious mind it it's how it reprograms the subconscious mind it's what you think when you say the word everybody when you are saying the word everybody you're not literally meaning every single person in the entire world you are just blatantly meaning that you are popular this is just a kind of way of talking that you mean i'm just very very popular on youtube everybody wants to, everyone who comes across me wants to see my videos everyone wants to share them everyone wants to comment on them everyone wants to like them everyone wants to work with me it's just a way of speaking and what this does is it puts everybody now at the very top of the hierarchy of belief so that now you have the positive statement that overrides everything that comes underneath this so even if you have a bad day and you're thinking oh that video hasn't done very well but you have an overriding belief that everybody wants to watch my videos then that's going to override that bad that uh, thought you were having on that bad day where you were thinking well i'm having a bad day today i don't think anybody's watching my videos but everybody wants to watch my video so that thought can't possibly be true so you replace it and you say that in your mind as often as you possibly can i like to use idle brain moments moments in your day where your brain is idle and not needing to actually think about anything walking commuting working out cooking cleaning getting ready for bed getting ready in the morning etc etc you, you need to replace this thought with everybody's watching my videos i'm so popular on youtube it's amazing everybody just wants to consume my content everyone wants to hear what i have to say everybody is so interested in my teachings i'm helping so many people just riff on the topic in your mind like that that is creating brain stamps that form those new neural pathways in your brain whenever you think thoughts usually you don't just recite the same thought over and over again like for example when you're thinking that negative thought usually you don't use the exact words in your brain over and over again usually you riff around the topic like you might say well i'm just not i'm just not cut out for this nobody's watching my videos i just don't think anyone likes my content it's just not happening for me i just don't feel very successful maybe it's the way i speak maybe it's the topics that i'm putting out there you riff on that topic and that's what forms that subconscious mind reprogramming that's what forms that new reverse memory in your brain that actually gets to manifest is the riffing around the topic which puts that that thought into your brain that you actually believe it, it forms that new belief system so you need to put in the new belief system by riffing on the topic all the way through the day and if you want to get my guide on creating a reverse memory where i walk you through the process of creating a reverse memory in detail you can click on underneath the video and get the link to that as well and i would love to know if you could answer in the comments have you ever replaced one of your belief systems with something else what type of beliefs belief systems have you rejected and say no i'm just not going to think 
about that belief system anymore. That's just not part of my life. I am now this type of person. I would love to know. And if you haven't yet done this, I would love to know what belief system you are going to replace now that you know this process of removing limiting beliefs. So I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe if you want more videos like this. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.